This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to show you how to create a page of custom collections and actually all the custom content that you want using the sections. So we're just going to use a section that's already created and copy it basically and we're going to create uh, that on a page which is unusual because normally you can only do it on the home page. Uh, unless the theme has it built into it. And we're going to be using the debut theme, which comes by default on Shopify. So if you don't have Shopify yet and you want to follow along, you can go to pinehurstwebsites.com and you can start a free trial by clicking this banner. And it will give you a free trial on Shopify and uh, you can follow along here. So uh, what you want to do is you also want to um, probably check out if you want to see any of the code or anything, it will be under the tutorials and I'm going to be adding that to my tutorial index and to the tutorial pages once I finish this so I'll, I'll either add a blog or a tutorial on this. So let's go ahead and show you what this does exactly. So what you're going to be able to do is create a page of collections. Uh, so there are a lot of ways that you can go in and do this in the rich text editor on the page but this allows you to do it using sections, so it allows you to pull in objects, and let's just show how easy that is. So I've created a, uh, a store in another video showing you how to set up a store in the debut theme, and I'll put a link to that on my page, Pinehurst Websites, as well. So um, <clears throat> there will also be some links in the description if you want to do a free trial on Shopify. The description of this video is going to have a link to it as well. So what you would do is you go into the customized theme and using the sections on the home page you can really customize this so you can take these content blocks that are on the home page and they're over here on the right and you can drag them around uh, re repositioning them or you can actually add fresh pieces of content like collections featured collections uh, blog posts and all kinds of other things you can add to the page here and you see I've already created a few uh, custom content blocks down here. You'll only want to use those on the page because they can only be used once and whatever custom content you have like on my custom page would be the same custom content that it's going to end up on the home page if you put it here and it'll end up on your custom page here. So the way to navigate within the customized theme is just go to the page where you want to add the content and as you can see this one has a my custom page in here so I've created some custom content in the page but if I wanted to add more custom content I can just click on this I can reorder the content so I can move things around or I can add new content so I can add text images video products uh, collections and what I've added is collections and what this allows me to do is to take these collections that I've added and really customize them using the theme settings so I can bring this down to size I can move it around so anything that I've set up in the theme settings um, or this was actually already uh, written into the code of the theme settings you can modify it here instead of having to modify it in the HTML. So this makes it really easy to create something like a landing page and uh, to just really create a drag and drop uh, drag and drop page. So let's just say we wanted to add an image to the site. We could go in and we've got that image down here and we can just upload an image and we have all the settings that are available within here um, to modify that. So we could put any image in that we wanted. And then we can modify that as we wanted. So, and then if we want to take a piece of content out, we can just delete it. So let's go and let's take a look at uh, how we created this ability to have a custom page here. So we're going to want to do uh, a series of steps here. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to create a page template. So let's just leave this and let's go and create a page template. So if we go to actions on the theme and hit edit, edit HTML, we're just going to create a new template and that's under templates and then add a new template and we're going to choose page in the drop down and then we're going to give our template a name. 
So I'm just going to call this my custom collections and put a dash between each word, my dash custom dash collections. So now I have a page template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this, uh, what's in here, and I'm just going to put a, a sections tag. And I believe I already have a sections tag. You won't have one in yet, but I'll show you what it looks like. And if you just want to cut and paste this code, I'm going to put it on my on my website under the tutorial, and I'll put a link to my tutorial, and it will have all the t basically the code written out, so you can just cut and paste it if you're using the debut theme. It's going to be similar to what I want, so I'm going to just paste it in here, and I will have exactly uh, what you want. You can just rename it uh, whatever you want it to be, uh, but this one I'm going to call my custom dash my dash custom dash collections okay so that's all you have to do for the page template and then save it so in between the parentheses uh, you're going to give it whatever name you're giving to your page so if you want to create multiple pages you want to have multiple page templates so now under sections same thing we're going to create a section add a new section and we're going to call I'm going to call this one my dash custom dash collections all right and then I'm going to create that section and it's going to have some schema in here and I'm just going to delete that schema and I'm going to take the schema in from custom content dot liquid and you'll see it it's all alphabetical so I'm going to go to custom content dot liquid and copy that entire the entire uh, code including the schema all the way down to the bottom to what's called the last schema tag where it says end schema I'm going to copy that and I go into my custom collection dot liquid not the page but the section and I'm going to paste this I'm just going to make a couple of changes to this to make it easy to identify and I'm going to go to the last schema tag and I'm going to put my custom collections and I'm just going to add it in Word here and I'm going to copy that right here. So where it says custom content under name under presets here I'm just going to paste the name that I want to see come up uh, when I'm looking in the customized theme and I'm going to do this at the very beginning of my schema tag where's the first schema tag and you can do a find uh, control F to find this if you do uh, control F and you put uh, schema S C H E. so you're going to come up with the schema tag it's going to be highlighted in yellow so you're just going to go to next to name and you're going to change that custom content to my custom collections. So you're changing it those two places and save and then you're done. Okay, if we uh, click on online store and click on customize theme and look at the add sections on the home page we'll see now that we have that my custom collections if it's all done correctly so then we'll have the ability to add that so I'm just going to close that we don't need to add it to the home page and let's click back arrow on themes here and go over to pages and let's create our page so this is my custom collections and then we're going to choose the template my custom collections and click save now let's just add a navigation menu we'll add it to the main menu my custom collections we're just adding a menu item and then we're going to hit the drop down and we're going to connect it to a page and then we're going to select the page, which is the one we just created, my custom collections. 
and we hit Save Menu. And if we go preview the online store, uh, so just click this, click online store, and then just click this box right here, our correct navigation menu, and it's connected to our page. But we don't have any content there yet, so let's go back over here and let's go to customize theme and click on customize. And let's go to My Custom Collections. And you see we have My Custom Collections where we can add our custom content. So we just add content and we're going to choose Collections. Just add the items that we want. We'll make them 25%. You can make them any size you want. And click Add Content and click on Collection. And of course, if you want to add text or images, uh, you can do that as well. And then once you've added content, of course, you can move that content around. So now that you have the complete code, you can go into the online store and you can customize that theme. And you just go to your custom page and you can add custom content to that. So you can add not just custom collections, but any kind of custom content that you have within this. There's a lot more that can be done with sections, uh, but this is a great way to kind of soup up the debut theme. You can find the full code on my website, pinehurstwebsites.com, and uh, I'm going to post a link to the setup uh, of the tutorial, the setup tutorial for the debut theme as well on that. So you can go to pinehurstwebsites.com. There will be a link in the description of this video on YouTube. And uh, if you sign up at pinehurstwebsites.com, I'll give you updates uh, whenever I post uh, a new blog post. I'm getting ready to work on a new video on uh, SEO for your site. So that would be very useful. Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools and um, getting your site traffic and working on the SEO for your site. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at the final page. This is actually the live page. You've got your jewelry collection, so it goes to your jewelry collection. Um, you have also created some other custom pages. So if you want to do the same thing with other custom pages, just uh, create a name for those custom pages. Uh, also you can edit the uh, custom content tag right here, right here at the top. You just go and you change that to whatever you want to be. I'll just make it my custom collections. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for tuning in. And again, you can sign up at my website, pinehurstwebsites.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kevin King Now at YouTube. Have a good day.